Hey there, welcome to All About Central. In this video, we're going to take a look at the fascinating manufacturing process of a soda can. Soda cans are ubiquitous in our daily lives. But have you ever stopped to think about how these cans are made? Let's find out. The first soda can was introduced in the 1930s as a way to improve the shelf life of carbonated beverages. The early cans were made of steel, which made them durable and easy to produce, but also heavy and prone to rust. Today, soda cans are typically made of aluminum, which is lightweight, corrosion-resistant, and easily recyclable. In fact, almost 75% of all aluminum produced is still in use today because of its high recyclability. The first step in the manufacturing process is to prepare the material that will be used to make the cans. The aluminum is first rolled into thin sheets and then cut into circles that will form the body of the can. A soda can is made up of several layers, including the outer layer of aluminum. An interior lining to prevent the beverage from coming into contact with the metal, and a coating to protect the print and graphics on the can. As the cans move down the production line, they are first cleaned and sanitized to ensure they are free of debris and bacteria. Then the filling process is where the soda can becomes the refreshing drink we all know and love. Once the cans are designed and manufactured, they are filled with carbonated beverages. The filling process is highly automated and requires careful control of temperature, pressure, and carbonation levels to ensure consistency and quality. In a typical soda can filling line, the cans move down a conveyor belt at a speed of around 2,000 cans per minute. That means each can spends less than a second at each stage of the filling process, which is a testament to the precision and efficiency of the production line. The carbonation chamber is where the magic happens. The carbon dioxide gas is injected into the beverage, and the cans are shaken to help the gas dissolve into the liquid. This creates the fizz that we all associate with soda and other carbonated beverages. After the carbonation process is complete, the cans are sealed to ensure they are airtight and will retain their carbonation. The can sealing machine applies the lid to the can using a process called double seaming. This ensures a tight seal that won't break or come loose during transportation and storage. To open a soda can, there are several different mechanisms. The most common is the pull tab, which was introduced in the 1960s. After the soda can has been consumed, it can be recycled. Aluminum cans are one of the most recycled materials in the world, with a recycling rate of nearly 70% in the United States. Recycling aluminum requires significantly less energy than producing new aluminum from raw materials, making it an environmentally friendly choice. The recycling process starts with the cans being collected and taken to a recycling plant, where they are sorted by material and crushed into bales. These bales are then sent to a cutter and a melter, where the aluminum is melted down and formed into new sheets. The new sheets of aluminum can then be used to make new cans, which means that the material can be reused again and again without losing quality or performance. When you open your next can of soda, you already know how the manufacturing process takes place. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.